the Sea King, the stalwart aircraft of the fleet air arm for more than 40 years. Now she prepares to say goodbye. As the remaining Sea Kings begin to decommission, those who've flown them say there's something of a workhorse. Well, it's, it's just proved its capability over the last 30 odd years that it's managed to stay serviceable. We've done all of those tasks from the Falklands, the Lebanon, Sierra Leone, Bosnia, the Gulf and, uh, and Afghanistan. Whether it's operating from the ship to the shore, to the desert, to the jungle, to the Arctic or in a temperate environment, it can do it all. So the versatility that the aeroplane's had throughout its lifespan has been quite incredible. The green Mark IV Sea King of the Commando Helicopter Force is perhaps best known as the Jungly, taking the Royal Marines into battles on foreign lands. Afghanistan, the First Gulf War and Bosnia. This is Sea King 298 and it's a bit of a legend among the junglies. It has a war history to impress most. In Afghanistan, it was shot by a rocket-propelled grenade. It went right through the aircraft, forcing the crew to crash land. In Bosnia, it was shot by small arms fire in the fuel tank. And in the Falklands, it's got a bit of history there too. We got attacked by four A4s. We managed to evade, but we took a 20 mil cannon shell through one of the blades. The aircraft survived, we landed on uh, and changed the blade. Also, when HMS Coventry got hit, we were the first aircraft called out there, so we were the first aircraft to arrive when the ship was on its side, not a good sight, but uh, we managed to rescue 20 survivors. We had one guy who was, who was dead, but we recovered the body. And as the crews prepared to shut down the engines for one last time, there was chance for two junglies to say their goodbyes to HMS Bulwark. That's Avenger 1 and Avenger 2 airborne on our way to meet HMS Bulwark for the final seeking Mark IV deck landing. A plaque commemorating the final deck landing on the Royal Navy flagship was handed to Pilot Lieutenant Tom Lofthouse. Well, today's the very last time that a commando seeking a jungly lands on a Royal Navy warship after 36 years of service. Particularly exciting because the very first landing 36 years ago was to the old HMS Bulwark. I got to shake hands with the captain of HMS Bulwark. Um, he presented us with an image of the first state landing in 1980 of the first uh, seeking to land on the old HMS Bulwark. Um, and then, yeah, we left the ship. Um, so a sad day, really, for the, yeah, the last landing of the seeking. Away from war zones, the Sea King Mark V had a crucial role to play back home in the UK. Hero to many a stricken mariner, the platform for countless search and rescue missions, saving thousands of lives. Not only search and rescue, the Sea King Mark VII has done her time working in anti-submarine warfare. It is very versatile. During my career, I've done search and rescue, anti-submarine warfare and uh, commando flying. Uh, aligned with that is I, I did 10 years test flying and, and a lot of that was on the Sea King as well. Now Avenger 1 will take off from HMS Bulwark for one last time. It's been a fantastic aircraft to fly um, and a privilege really to be able to um, be part of the, the final deck landing uh, of the aircraft. Well, it's a sad day. and I, I mean, I live in Yeovilton Village and I can look out over the airfield and see the Sea King uh, and it's not going to be there anymore. Uh, the future's the Merlin, so that's the way ahead. The five Sea Kings from the Commando Helicopter Force will be flown around the West Country in a farewell fly pass to those they've served so well. Rebecca Ricks, Forces News at RNES Yeovilton.